Hi, I'm Allison Bree, and this is my everyday skincare routine and my go-to makeup look. Guess we gotta get my hair out of the way first. So usually when I wake up, I work out first thing in the morning, six days a week. I start with my Biba D'Souza Micellar Water. This is my go-to makeup remover. After that, I use my daily cleanser. It exfoliates. You use just honestly a tiny drop. My zinc mask. So this is not something that I use every single day. In fact, I think you're meant to use it one to three times a week and I probably use it once a week. Ooh, that's a good amount. The good thing about it is it's super quick. So even though I'm kind of slathering myself with it right now, it dries in five minutes. And now we can prep for makeup. I always start with this Caudalie Beauty Elixir. You gotta shake it up, it smells delicious. I also use it throughout the day, especially if I'm kind of going day to night in my makeup look, it just is a nice refresh at any moment throughout the day. Now that we've got that on, I'm gonna do some of Biba's Hydrating Toner. I recently took a break from using it and kind of forgot that I had it and my skin was a bit problematic. Then I use this Image Skincare Matte Moisturizer with SPF 30. Sunscreen, very important. Never leave home without it. Lately, I've been using this Naked Poppy Awaken Eye Cream. I'm trying to use just the teeniest bit of this when I'm feeling a little more dry or like, you know, I'm shooting in different locations and some locations have a big effect on your skin. That area is so delicate that it, it's nice to keep it really hydrated. While my moisturizer's on, I use this Jillian Dempsey Vibrating Gold Bar. This is like my real go-to for traveling. You can bring it anywhere and it's like, choose your own adventure. You can kind of do it as long or as short as you want. So I just turned 40. I've been feeling really good and not freaking out about that age that is, maybe there's a stigma with it that some people kind of get nervous about. And for me, I feel just as youthful as I felt. I mean, I feel much better than I felt in my 20s, honestly, because I was eating like shit and really not taking care of my skin and stuff like that and really used my 30s to hone all of that stuff. And now, Honestly, I've never felt better. Now we're doing makeup. I use this Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Foundation. When I was 17, I worked as a clown for kids' birthday parties, and I fully did my own clown makeup. You know, white clown makeup, the yellow diamonds. I don't even remember what the rest of it looked like. The kids really didn't seem to mind. It was like a true test as a performer and entertainer. Next, I used this eye concealer by Cicely Paris. Next, I used this Velvet Touch Creamy Stick Blush. My husband makes fun of me because of the mirror faces that I make, right? Does everybody do this where you're ready for blush and then you're just... Trying to get those apples of the cheeks going and then I like to go just a little bit below. I always put a little bit of the color that I put on my cheeks on my eyelid. Next, I'm gonna use my Cogendo powder. I've been using this one for years and years and years. It's loose powder. I just put a little bit on the puff and then I use this giant crazy brush, shake a little bit off. Next, I use this Tom Ford powder bronzer hit my temples. Do you like how I mean, clearly I do this thing where I tap it off on my wrist? Never noticed that before. The amount of bronzer that I use is also directly related to the amount of spray tan that I have on. <laughs> on Glow, almost never. On my recent film, Somebody I Used to Know, I have quite a few nude scenes in the movie. So we were doing a light spray tan every Sunday, which just, you know, gives you that extra pop. It's kind of nice to just even the full skin tone. And then you don't have to be on set with a makeup artist like putting concealer on your butt. Next, we're gonna do my brows. Brows are the number one most important thing to me. 
I never leave the house without makeup in my brows. Going to the gym in the morning, it's like nothing on my face but brows. I really was one of those people that tweezed them to death in the 90s, in the early aughts. It was the trend and I regret it. I use Grande Brow every night trying to just harvest a few more, but you know, they're stubborn. And then finish with a brow gel. Cause again, they're long. I like to keep them long to fill in these holes from where I overplucked as a teen. Right now I use the Christy Straker & Co. Uh, tinted brow gel. So for my eyes, I'm gonna start with this Shiseido eyelash curler. It took me years to realize that you should curl your lashes before putting on any eyeliner or eye makeup, you know, so you don't mess it all up. Then I'm gonna use this uh, Cole Eyeliner by Jillian Dempsey. I use a brown. I just like it to be really subtle and just go really as close to the lash line as possible. I use Arbon Speak Volumes Mascara. This mascara has stood the test of time. They have sort of almost an old school, really fluffy brush, which I like. I like to get all the way to the root of my lash. Now, controversial. I like to hit the bottom lashes and just kinda, I don't mind a full twiggy style bottom lash. Sometimes I'll go double back with my very old NARS Sin blush and hit if I feel like I went too bronzy on my cheeks. And as per my cheek and eyelid rule, I do a swipe of that up there as well. Also, I like to go through with my Color Science Mineral Corrector Kit. This is my favorite, favorite type of makeup in the world. And I use it to go through like, look at this little friend right here. It's like, it's a pressed powder concealer and I like it just for these tiny little dots. Again, I don't want anything to be heavy. For some reason, I always also like to hit this little zone right above my brows. I have melasma a little bit on the tops of my cheeks and on my forehead. So depending on how my makeup has been applied, I'll go in and kind of spot treat. Also, I love this Laura Geller eyeshadow and I probably should have done this sooner, but sometimes I can go back in and just dot a little bit. Now for lips, I always use my Lucas's Paw Paw ointment. Maybe today we'll start with this Giorgio Armani liner. I'm gonna use this Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. I'm just gonna dab it super lightly. I love orange and peachy lip stuff. And then <laughs> use my Paw Paw. Once I've blotted it almost completely off, <laughs> Then I usually use one of these sugar lip treatments. I'm obsessed with them. I have them in so many shades. I'm gonna use Spice today. I will finish it off with the Caudalie Beauty Elixir one more time, just to set everything in place and because it smells so yummy. This is my final look. I will wear it on a date night with my husband.